and me and Emma are going down to see if we've won. We've been Rafferty put into it. a raffle. Oh, my camera's a bit squiffy, and we're going to go and see if we're going to win. Yeah. They've got to be better than my lottery tickets, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't win either. <laughs> didn't you? No. Right, it looks like we're a little bit late. They were already shouting numbers out. Have you won it yet, Em? No. no. So the money from the uh, raffle tickets are going to... The Birmingham Children's Unit and the Renton Macmillan Ward at Hereford Hospital. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. We're all here to support it. Thank you. Thank you. Go and win some prizes. Oh, that's me. Yeah! <laughs> Bottle of Ritz! Me like gonna be impressed. No! <laughs> <laughs> what did you win, Bruce? Bottle of wine? Yeah. Well done, and you! You know what the best part about it? I don't drink. Oh. So, who, so who wants to buy some, some Chardonnay? <laughs> no good. A stitch up. They all won apart from me. Right, we're gonna take a walk down with um, Emma and all the lads are in in the water. There's Neil. Here's all the lads, look. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to push us in, aren't they, Em? Hello. Oh yeah! That's not the fucking Fingers crossed. Last chance. Last chance. Last chance. Go on! Yeah! Sorry, what is your channel again? Uh, always Van Adventure is our van channel. Always Van, van Adventure. Adventure. Like, always Check these guys out. We'll put a link in the description. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Professor. So that, my friends, is the end of Camp Creator. Five days. Five days. We've really not filmed much at all. No. Um, but we've had an incredible time. And now yes. we're off to... New Forest? Not New Forest, no. We're off into a campsite in a forest called Braceland, I believe. Yeah. Two days there, so uh, we'll catch you there. Welcome to Bracelands. Not Graceland. I said Braceland. Braceland. Yeah, oh. but everyone keeps thinking we're saying Bracel uh, Graceland. Graceland, today. yeah. And we're not. Don't know if we're meant to just sit in the car because those signs up there saying stay in your car, but is that from before COVID or is it after? Have they just not taken the signs down? I don't know. But looking at what we're seeing at the moment, it looks lovely. There's wild boar in this forest, Mazzy. I'm a little bit nervous now. I can, oh, I love wild boar. <laughs> I used to chase them and carry little baby ones and all sorts. So, right. Braceland's Caravan Park. I'll just show them where we're parked. We're just over there. It's a lovely site. It's very family orientated. Very family. It's lovely. Uh, there were kids playing football till 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. It's a really nice, peaceful <laughs> site. So we're just going for a little walk in the forest. So a very steep hill coming down from the campsite towards the river. Well done, Mazzy, <laughs> on choosing the correct footwear. It's not that, it's just... She's slipped three times already. Yeah, but my leg's not good this one, and so and I'm just... I I'm slipping down the hill. I want you to show them your eye. Oh, you can't see it today, really. Mazzy at Camp Creator got, got bit. bitten there. Which ended up looking like a bruise. And it, like, spread into her eye ear and under, under her there. ear. Looked like I'd smacked her one. Yeah. So her eye's been all puffy. A lot of people were getting bit at Camp Creator. I don't know what, yeah. what by exactly. I've got another one on my chest there. Yeah, but none of apparently, them got me, apparently. Apparently mosquitoes, but... Um... It, it could be mosquitoes. So Maz is terrified. She's scared she's going to get attacked by a wild boar. So I'm going to give you my survival tip of the day. Are you ready? Yeah. If you are charged by a wild boar, which can happen and does happen, it's usually because you've gone too near there young right but if it does just stand there head on and when it gets to about there and the fast just go like that mm -hmm. because the car turned direction 
they've got to keep going. It's a bit like, what is it, Lansing? You know them medieval things? Yeah. Where you have to, then the wild boar does that and it keeps going until it can stop, which will be right down there, and then it has to turn round on its feet and then come back. That's really interesting. Can't turn direction. So yeah, don't be scared of them, they're lovely animals. I've not seen any wild ones in England, but in Germany I must have seen 500 of them. My favourite animal. The situation is we have slowly been declining since we've left camp. Looks About like a mile, mile and a half and it has been downhill all the way and it still doesn't look like it's ending. Yeah. And we've got to walk all the way back up here. I know. <laughs> so we're getting a bit worried now. It's like the road to nowhere. Okay. Yeah. I think, I don't know. Oh, we're in the middle of nowhere, Mazzy. Are we? Because oh. we, we haven't actually got signal on campsite, so we couldn't check before we left, did we? We haven't really got a signal here. Oh, it looks a long way. Does it? To anything. <laughs> we are right in the middle of the forest, and I'm Let's not... Have a look. Well, there's the campsite. Yep. We've walked down here. Right. But I'm not seeing any water. No. So this obviously takes you to there. That isn't water. There's the river right over there. Oh my gosh, right. So it must be another mile and a half, two miles to the river. Not doing that. All downhill. All downhill. Mm. We should have stayed on Bibling's youth campsite, Mazzy. It's at, it's at the river. <laughs> Dan's made an executive decision. Yeah, we're not doing walking anymore. No, <laughs> but this could get worse. We're actually now going to cut through the woods, yeah. which is really steep. We saw, it looked like ancient steps kind of thing. We're going to try and get up there because it'll cut out a mile and we want to get back on site. We've got a few things to talk to you about today you see. Yeah. Some special things so stay tuned. Hold um, on, this, this, day I, this day out isn't finished yet. No. I can see there's been a bit of a disaster but yeah. so should we go and find them steps that we kind of trail thing? Mm. We'll have a look at them. <laughs> so this is the proper path and this is what we saw coming down. And we both looked at this and thought, oh, that looks interesting. Yeah. So it's like cobblestones here. But we're hoping this goes up to the campsite. It's very, very steep. It doesn't look safe. This could either be a good idea or a bad idea. It will be a bad idea. <laughs> you go first. Yeah. No, go on. Go on. <laughs> if anything, it is nice. <sighs> I'd love to mail detect it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks old. Well, someone's walked down here because there's a footprint. Oh yeah, that's Bigfoot though. Gonna sit down for a minute. We're still going up and up and up. <sighs> I'm alright. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, it's know. nice though, I'm enjoying this. It is good. So, Camp Creator, what did you think? Brilliant, really, really good. <laughs> I don't know if I explained it very well exactly what it was. It was yeah. about 60 creators, most of them YouTubers, some Instagram people, some people had 10 subscribers, some had 280,000 mm -hmm. subscribers. It was just a good mixture of different people all getting together and getting to know each other. Made loads of new friends, didn't we? Yes, absolutely. I think everyone did. Um, yeah. Just we a got, fan. We got to know Emma and Neil uh, a little bit more than we had done as well. Yeah. They, they were our new best friends. Oh, don't say that. You'll <laughs> offend people, Mazzy. <laughs> Why are we talking about Camp Creator anyway? Well, we're just moving on from that. Because at oh. Camp Creator, right. we had decided, you know what? We've met a lot of people now. We've been going to a lot of these things. We've yeah. still got a few to go, like rallies yeah. and meetups to do. But as channel's changing, isn't it? It's going to change. We need to start getting travelling again. Proper yeah. travel. It's not just the uh, meetups that has sort of changed our channel. It's actually been since unlockdown where we've been staying on campsites for the last six months. And that's changed our channel yeah. and changed us as people as well. And changed how much signal we have. Yes. We've really struggled to get videos really up daily like we used to do. So we're deciding to go back to our old ways, aren't we, basically? Which is going to include... 
Wild camping. <laughs> Mazzy wants to start wild camping I do. Again. Not in laybys, in particular places. Yeah. But so we're going to start doing wild camping. Tomorrow. Yeah, and um, hopefully then we can pick and choose where our signals are. We really don't get signal on any campsites. campsites. It's useless. useless. Absolutely useless. Yeah. Like today, I can't even check my messages. It's yeah. really, really bad. Yeah. So we're just going to set off tomorrow, try and find a signal so we can look on park for nights, yes. find somewhere. We're slowly heading down to Exmouth, mm -hmm. which we have to be at in a week, I think it is, for a rally. I think it's going to be more exciting. I do. And we're literally getting up in the morning. We have no idea where we're going because we have no signal to check. And we're just going to hit the road, aren't we? That is the plan. Yes. So, fingers crossed, there'll be more videos coming out and yes. more interesting videos. Yeah, just sort of a bit more of us rather than just campsites, campsites, campsites yeah. and stuff like that. Like yeah. we used to be in the yeah. good old days. Yeah. So we've had a problem, haven't we, Mazzy, with this fridge? We have. We thought it had completely broke. The last time we used it was running up to Camp Creator, so we haven't used it for a week. So yesterday when we got on campsite, it only works on electric anyway, that's another story. Got it yesterday, it, it took even till this morning for my freezer to actually freeze properly and the fridge I would still say it's still not even that cold. No, the beer is cold enough to yeah. drink now but it is cooler, definitely. So we were beginning to panic thinking the whole lot's just gone yeah. now. We thought we might only have a freezer now. Yeah. But has anyone else ever had this problem? Is it possible that it's simply because we've not it's been on an electrical cup, it's been 30 to 32 degrees in I'm the sun? I'm thinking it's to, nothing to do with an electric hooker, but I know these take time to cool down anyway, you know, who can. Yeah, but 20 hours. We've never had that before. Is it to do with the heat that's delayed that, or is my fridge really on its way out? I don't know. <laughs> I suppose time would tell. Um, yeah. There has been some wires unplugged at the back of it but on it this side. it worked after I did that. But it did work. So it can't be to do so... with that. So has anyone else had this? You know, after the heat wave, you've turned it on after five, six days and it's taking like 20, 25 hours to get down to temperature. Or is it just us and our bad fridge look? Mm. So another quick question about the fridge. Could it have taken longer to cool down because you only have so many amps coming in on a campsite. Um, could it be because we had this on all day and taking up some of the amps? That's meant to be low wattage though, isn't it? Low I don't know how many watts it is, but I don't know. We've had it on quite high. Would that slow down the coolness of the fridge? Just putting it out there, someone will know the answer. As this is potentially our last night on a campsite for a week, two weeks possibly, it, it won't depends. Be. <laughs> anyway, despite that, we're going to try and go as long as we can. We've got to charge up all our generators. Let's give them a quick look at us wall now. Oh, yeah. After the show, we've yeah. got some loads on there. Got it's going to look brilliant when it's all done. Yeah, really good. Very happy with it. My favourite one is. Cozy Adventures, it's a really thick, good quality um, sticker, and they were a lovely, well we only met um, John and Donna didn't we, Josie wasn't oh, yeah. there, lovely couple. John and Donna, yeah, this, oh yeah. By the way, if you can see that, this is who did what is coming up later in the video, so you've got his email there if uh, you want him for any work or anything, or want his YouTube channel. No cadet today we're gonna get the new air fryer out aren't we yeah i don't know if we've mentioned the air fryer to you guys but we did film it and we lost the footage didn't yeah we? i think we mentioned that but we um yeah we couldn't show it or anything so we'll show you that in a bit yeah. we're going to be cooking in as air fryer i'm not going to do homemade chips we've actually just got a bag of frozen for today so you can have sausage chips and a fried eggy i'm very happy with that yeah definitely i'm gonna have with beans and toast and mushrooms Fried bread. Oi! A couple of burgers. No! <laughs> on the spot question for you. Go on then. Right. So this particular week was our first time being off grid for, I want to say, probably about a year since Ireland, hasn't it? Properly. Properly, yes. So what have we learned from that? What, what would we advise? What would we have changed? 
Right, well firstly... And what we learned. <laughs> firstly, this is a question you said. We wish we'd have asked everyone at the show. Oh no, no, this is slightly different though. So we'll keep that as a different question. This is, this is something for us. What, what have we learned? We've learned we need a converter in the van, haven't we? An inverter, Mazda. Oh, an inverter, not a converter. <laughs> um, well, we've, we've learned that we can actually live off grid. To a point, yes. We've, Which we we've forgot managed we could. In 31, 32 degrees heat for yeah. five days off grid, we've managed. We've learned as cooler isn't up to scratch. Yeah, the health foods. Just fan cooler. cooler. Yeah, even with ice in it. We always put two bags of ice. Yeah, we were putting ice in at lunchtime and it was melted by midnight. Yeah. And the drinks weren't much much cooler than room temperature, so... So that, that, that in its own was a waste of money, really, but it's a cool box for a 24 hours. I think it'll work OK on coolish days but not in red hot sun but being surrounded i mean by other people that were actually managing you know we had neil and emma next door and many others using 240 plugs in their vans we can't use 240 plugs so technically our sun coming down on our solar panel to the van all that power we were gaining was totally useless we weren't making the most of it was we because we didn't have a converter Fridge anywhere yeah the only thing that was powering up was our lights which Lights we never and, used anyway. And uh, USBs. Yeah. We didn't really take advantage of it, no. So, these... So we need a, an inverter, definitely. Yeah, that's definitely one thing we've learned. Uh, the jackeries were amazing. Without those, we couldn't have gone through them five days, could we? Well, I wouldn't say just jackeries. I'd say power banks in general. Power banks in general, I mean, sorry. And the, with the solar panels, I mean, because they did need, obviously, the recharging. The solar panels were the best thing there. The best thing, yes. And we could mm. easily still use three of them, but we've given one away. We'll explain that later in the video. Yeah. Um, yeah. But they're quite heavy, so we wanted rid of one for the weight reasons as well, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Amazing, amazing to have solar panels. Anything else have you learned about our fan? Things that we feel we might need to change if we ever go off grid? Start wearing the silver screens. Oh yes, that was one massive thing. Massive difference. Massive difference. We didn't realise, we just thought it were, only worked in winter, didn't we? No, I knew it worked in the sun, but I didn't realise to that extent. Yeah, to about, that extent, yeah. It felt at least five degrees, maybe ten degrees cooler in as that As soon fan. as you put it on. And we've come on campsite now and I've stupidly not put no. them on. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, um, but they do make a massive difference, so silver screens are massive definite for anybody. Yeah. Um, in the heat. Yeah. One massive, also big, big, big tip I can give is, um, we already have it, two toilet cassettes. We managed just fine. A lot of people didn't and not always have that option of emptying your cassettes and a lot of people now are actually considering getting a second cassette that we've spoken to, haven't they? Well, it depends on the person. Some people don't like the thought of having a full cassette in your garage just underneath your pillars and stuff. But it depends what sort of camping you're doing. If, you, if, if they don't like that, then they're the type then that probably wouldn't go wild camping anyway, aren't they? Well, what I will say is when you do put a full cassette in your garage, you can't smell it. You can't it. smell it. No smells. No. Not at all, It's is all it? sealed in there. Yeah. It's yeah, we'd yeah. definitely recommend a second toilet cassette. Definitely. It's in my mouth. Let's have a close-up. Oh. What's that all of what what's that all of it? <laughs> this is turning to an X-ray. What have you got all over you, man? What have I you done? Just, I don't know, it just slipped out my hand and I was above it and it just went up in my face. What is it? Oh. Sir. I'm doing a bit of hand washing before we we leave. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was design. I thought it was a shoe. Oh, shoe. look at my face. It's all so poo. Oh, give yourself a clean. <laughs> yeah, just going to uh, rinse for a few um, bits and pieces that we need sure, washing. Some stuff. Bit of underwear <laughs> before we leave. I have been a busy bee today. As you can see, I've got all the washing done and I've even still got a load in the van. I've been a good girl today, haven't I, babe? So have I. I've been a busy bee. But have you been a good girl? 
I've been a good girl. I've <laughs> been a good boy. I've been really busy. What have you been doing? I've got the jackery out with the two solar panels and I've sat here just making sure it's charging. Well done you. Okay, this is dinner time. So what we've got is six Cumberland sausages. Fine enough, I'm gonna leave those for about 10 minutes and then fry off some extra, extra crispy chips. They're frozen, but they're gonna be perfect. I think the point we're trying to get across in this vlog is by having an active fryer, if you are on a campsite, you're saving gas, you're not using gas, you're using the campsite's electric. So we think this is going to be fantastic for us for campsites because making chips, so you can make anything in there. Anything which would normally go in the oven, you can probably make in an active fryer. So this is going to change his lives if we're on campsites. But now we've changed his plans and we're probably not going to be on campsites. We can probably throw it in the bin. Actify chips, fried sausages and fried eggies. There you go, my dear. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now Mazza were just saying, oh, your eggs are going to look messy and bitty. Yeah. That's the best bit. You've got to have black bits on your eggs. That shows that it's a proper fry up. The chips in the active fryer, crunchy and amazing. Massive tip that. What? Honestly, anyone who goes just to campsites and doesn't wild active camp, fry. and they have electric hookup, get an active fryer. It saves on gas, doesn't it? It saves on gas. Gas is hard to find at the moment. Just going to show mine. So I ended up with some fries. I didn't think I would, and. A couple of sausages and some salad. Nice. Mm, thank you yeah, very much. You're welcome. So at Camp Creator, we actually wanted to meet someone called Bruce, didn't we? The lovely Bruce. We've heard an awful lot about him. He's got a special skill. Yes. He's so good with his camera. Yes. Now, we noticed he did something on a schoolie bus, an American schoolie bus, where he zoomed into the window, spun it round, had a good look around inside the school bus, out yes. of another window, and then up into the air. It was incredible. It was magic. It, it was, was magic. Magic. Yeah. So, we did meet Moose. The, uh, Moose. Bruce. <laughs> Bruce the Moose. We did meet Bruce at Camp Creator, and he agreed to do mm. us an introduction, yes. a new intro. Um, in return, we've given him a solar panel, so I thought that were a really good swap. He yep. gets something, we get something. And you've got a bowl of curry. And a bowl of curry. <laughs> he makes the best curry in the world. He will feed anyone mm. around the campsites. But anyway, moving on. So, so, so we met Bruce, and yeah. he has done us a new introduction. Yes. It's fantastic. It, we're very happy with it. Very, aren't? very happy. So. I, I feel personally now it's going to be a modern twist on the, the whole change it up a little bit isn't yeah. it it's time to change it up a little bit yeah because we've had that same intro for a couple yeah. of years now probably yeah at least a year so um we're going to show you the new intro now as we end mm -hmm. this video now it was it started off bruce made it and it was 30 seconds long we were aiming for 10 seconds yeah. i've managed to get it down to about 23 seconds it's still a long intro we don't like long intros but It'll, it'll do. Compared to our old one, what was our old one? It was seven. Oh, seven about seconds. seven seconds. Yeah. So it's it's much longer, but you're going to like well, it. Well, it's much more interesting though, it is. isn't it? It is. You're going <laughs> to like it. Yeah. So we're going to end this video now. Watch the new intro, which is going to be starting on his next yes. one. Yes, and let us know down below what you think of it. Yeah. Um, and we'll leave it here. So yeah. So thank you for watching. Join us starting tomorrow. New adventures. New adventures. On the road. Wild camping. See you all later. Bye. 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 Bye.